So it's been two weeks now since the launch of the Apocalypse DLC for Battlefield 1, and today it's going live as part of the premium trial, so anyone who has the base game of Battlefield 1 will be able to play all the DLC maps for the next week, which is awesome. But having now spent two weeks with all of the new content, I'm starting to look beyond that and the return of the CTE, I'm wondering what DICE could be planning. The last we heard regarding the CTE was maybe a week or so before the launch of the Apocalypse DLC, when DICE devs told us there would be a brief hiatus with the new CTE build, and one wasn't going to arrive for at least a couple of weeks. Now this led to many people believing that DICE was totally ending support for Battlefield 1, which I don't think is the case. Why say there is a hiatus if support is due to stop? I think people got a little bit carried away, but so far we haven't actually heard anything more from the DICE team to let us know when it might be returning. Last week, however, I looked at the dog tags in-game with the idea of changing mine to the recent Zodiac tag that I unlocked, and a few others caught my eye. The five CTE-themed dog tags that so far we've had no information handed out with regards to how we can unlock them. These dog tags have been in the game for some time now, at least a couple of months before the Apocalypse DLC arrived. The first one is called Crash Test Ensign, features a soldier with a similar symbol on their helmet to that of the one that's on the Battlefield 4 CTE dog tags, the first one you unlock after being part of the CTE. And the description for this one simply says, thank you for helping Battlefield 1 be the best that it can, leading me to think that this one will just simply be handed out for participants in the CTE at any point in the past, and this is a faded bronze dog tag. The next one is called Field Generator, and again it's a faded bronze in colour, and it features two soldiers using a manual generator to provide power to equipment, and the description says four legs are better than two. The third tag is called Pigeon Paratroopers, I like this one. It features a messenger pigeon tied to a parachute, and the description reads that these pigeons were dropped behind enemy lines by spies so they could return vital information, and this is the first of the last three silver tags. The fourth one is called War Tuber, and these contraptions were made so that soldiers could monitor the engines of distant aircraft, and lastly we have Little Wind. This is the oldest surviving tank in history. Now, all of these dog tags feature some sort of reference to testing or prototypes, which links directly to what the CTE actually is and its intended purpose. There are actually a few things that haven't made it out of the CTE in the past that you could consider prototype tests of some sort. The camera pigeon is one of those. This was intended to be a gadget added with the Apocalypse DLC, but it was cut at the last minute. During the time that I used it, it didn't really fly properly, and it was quite difficult to accurately take pictures with so you could spot enemy players. And it was likely cut due to time constraints. I mean, if we look at the Apocalypse DLC in its entirety and the issues that it had, I think it's clear there were quite a few time constraints on all of that content. And another thing that never made it out of the CTE was the return of the Conquest Majority Rule System. Now, for Battlefield 1, DICE decided to change the rules of their flagship game mode so that both teams collected points towards a 1,000 point maximum for holding flags and killing players. The older, and in my opinion, better system, now known as Majority Rule, only allowed one team, the one holding the most flags, to bleed the enemy team's score down to zero instead. Kills still depleted tickets as well, but the team holding the flag majority would have the overall advantage. Now this was tested in the CTE for quite a while but it never made it out and that's likely because of the complexity of implementing the rule set into the main Battlefield 1 game. With all that in mind then, do you think it's likely that DICE will be using the CTE over the next few months to test out brand new ideas for Battlefield 1 to see if they fit into the game? With those five dog tags simply sitting there, waiting to be handed out, I hardly think the CTE is done and finished for Battlefield 1, and I personally would love to see it return to the way that it did in Battlefield 4's third year of support, with a big focus on the community and implementing loads of changes that help make the game even better. 
Battlefield 4 launched the Community Map Project, a fix for head glitching, a complete weapon rebalance, a legacy map remaster, a night map as well, and a weapons crate DLC. So there's plenty that DICE could do for Battlefield 1. Hell, they could even directly copy what was done in the Battlefield 4 CTE and give the community something to consume. The Community Map Project was an awesome idea and it got loads of people involved in Battlefield 4. I would be interested though in hearing your thoughts today, maybe some ideas and concepts that could be worked on for Battlefield 1. I know that Flakfire keeps banging on about the idea of a Metro 1918 map, remastered and redesigned to fit the World War 1 setting. I'm not sure everybody would like a Metro map in Battlefield 1, but I could see plenty of people in the community getting behind an idea like that. Leave your thoughts and comments down below and I'll pin some, I'll heart some of the ones that I think are really, really cool. But thanks very much for watching today and until next time, my name is Westy and I'll catch you guys in the next video.